Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be going back to Hobby Lobby because you guys really liked my last Hobby Lobby video, how to make your home look high end with Hobby Lobby. So we're gonna be doing a part two to that today. If you guys haven't seen that video, go watch it. But to give you a little recap of the beginning of the video, I originally wrote Hobby Lobby off. I thought that it was kind of just tacky decor, little knickknack things, not really my style, but I was there to get some florals and I really was surprised by the quality of the pieces and how some of them look like they could be out of like a Pottery Barn restoration hardware magazine and you know it's really cheap and affordable so we're going to be doing a little bit of a shop with me today showing you guys kind of the items that I look for and kind of the items that I would stay away from and then we're going to be coming back home doing a little haul I'm going to show you guys everything I bought and how I use it and style it in my home they have some new stuff in that I'm excited to show you guys so if you guys are ready let's go shopping all right so here we are at hobby lobby and of course the first thing that always hits you when you walk in a hobby lobby is the floral section and i like to go straight to the greenery aisle there are these gorgeous olive stems that i talked about in my last video i thought that these would be a really pretty summer stem um, at only 350 per stem that that was pretty good there's also these really pretty green ones i thought those looked really realistic and i think they were five dollars per stem yep so all of these are 50 percent off right now so i just take 50% off of the regular price but they had a lot of really pretty big hardy stems for really amazing prices I thought that this little like lavender stem could be a really pretty colorful accent something subtle but not too crazy and if you guys are looking to stock up on winter decor I thought that these stems were really perfect for like the fall or winter time and they were only three dollars per stem which was pretty good and I tend to try to stay away from florals I feel like fake florals can be a bit tacky but I do think that hydrangeas are one of those classic flowers that do look relatively real even if you buy them fake and they also had really pretty potted plants as well this guy was ten dollars in this super cute little aged terracotta pot and then i do think some of their larger trees can be a bit tacky but i thought this eucalyptus one actually was relatively realistic looking and at 120 dollars at 50 percent off it was only 60 bucks so you pop that in a big planter and you've got yourself a relatively cheap statement piece i also spotted these really cool planters that reminded me of the minka text pot from anthropology and all you do is just give that guy a light coat of spray paint kind of sand it to make it look aged and you can get yourself a really cheap dupe for that I do think that they have some really expensive looking planters at really great price points here and the selection is absolutely enormous I just love perusing these aisles and looking through just to kind of see if there are any planters that I might be able to pick up and find a spot for Another thing that you can get at Hobby Lobby that I feel like looks very expensive and high-end but doesn't break the bank is wall art. And a lot of these were actually reduced, which means they are getting discontinued. So that means they are probably going to be bringing some new pieces in soon, which is very exciting. I like that they kind of cycle them out so it doesn't feel like you're just having the same mass produced artwork sitting there on the shelves all the time I thought that this was really pretty it looked like a real canvas wrapped painting they also had fake oil marks on here which made it look like an authentic real painting you would never know this was from Hobby Lobby and I love the wood frame on this guy and it was so discounted this guy was only ten dollars which is such a good deal so they have some really pretty earthy toned artwork that would just accent any style or you know neutral space which I really love another thing that I feel like I've never seen anywhere other than Hobby Lobby is their selection of hardware poles and this can be a really great way to switch up the look of a dresser or a desk or something that just needs updating but you don't want to you know invest in a new piece or actually go through a DIY project if you just swap out the hardware it can really change the look and tone of your piece most of and these were anywhere these were from two to four dollars so you guys which is such a great deal Deal considering the unique selection that they have you can't even find that price at the Home Depot so um, you know definitely check here if you are wanting to spruce up the look of an old cabinet or a nightstand or just something like that 
and probably my favorite spot to hit up and the spot where I find the most goodies is in the front. So they have these little color coordinated and style coordinated displays and there's are usually their seasonal items that kind of come and go and you know you kind of got to snag them when you see them. And one of the great things about these little sections is that they have something for almost every style of home which is why I told you guys I originally wrote them off because I didn't think they had much in my style but it's almost like thrifting or going through home goods because you never really know what you're going to find and I loved these little canisters you guys I thought they would look so cute out on a countertop not to mention very functional you can just like sprinkle your coffee or flour or whatever with those cute little scoops I loved this little urn planter thing. I thought it was so cute. It was a little pricey for me though, so I didn't end up pulling the trigger, but I almost got it. And I also wanted to show you guys, if you look at the section, I personally think it looks very tacky, but you gotta look deeper and sometimes you can get some really cute stuff in these sections. So this brass belt was only six bucks after discount and these are really big in home decor right now and they're so expensive if you get an actual real vintage one so i figured you could just dab some gold paint on there because i don't love the gold color that it is and have yourself an expensive looking brass bell that could go on a stack of books or accent a lamp or you know next to a planter or something and definitely spruce up your space for you know six bucks <laughs> They do have a lot of fun kind of tabletop decor here that just make really fun, pretty accents. I thought that this ceramic little holder was kind of cool. You could put some pens in there or something. And you guys, I love this basket. It could hang on like a front door and you could put some fake florals in there, or real florals or whatever. And um, you know, these are typically pretty expensive. So I thought that that was actually a relatively good price for something that hangs on the door like that. They also had some really pretty little unique looking pottery pieces that totally look handmade and you know they're obviously not but I think that they just look so expensive and unique and you know they're super cheap at Hobby Lobby so that's something that I really love to look for is those handmade you know craftsman looking type items. I really love this little wooden stand. I thought it would be perfect for like a bathroom or to display your dish soap at your sink because it has that glass protector and it wouldn't get the wood all grody and nasty. So um, I really liked this little cute blue pottery piece. I thought it had so much character, but it was kind of expensive for being so tiny. I was kind of surprised by that. And of course, I never leave Hobby Lobby without checking the clearance section. You can always find some really discounted items here because they do kind of circle through items and they get some new stuff in with the seasons. It's always fun to kind of go at the end of the season and see what kind of items they have in here. I thought that this was really cute. It could be fun for like a candle or something outside. They also had quite a bit of wooden organizational items and this guy was about nine bucks and I thought it looked very authentically vintage and could be cute on like a coffee table or a console table or something like that. I also really liked the leather strap accent on here. I thought that was pretty unique. It's not your basic wooden shelves. I thought that leather accent just made it look very expensive and high end. And then I moved on to the spring section, which I found these really pretty chargers. I thought that that would be perfect for an outdoor summer gathering. They had a lot of different ones and kind of different colors and tones, which I thought was fun. And then you could pair it with this really pretty silverware holder set. And obviously you could reuse these. They were only $1.50 and you could put the name tag in there. And I thought that'd be a really cute touch if you were hosting a summer gathering together I loved these jars I thought that they were so aesthetically pleasing with the wood leather accents and the glass I love the mix of materials there and thought they'd look really pretty out on the counter with flour or oats or sugar or whatever very pretty way to display your cooking ingredients and I thought these were so cute I was so bummed they only had one because I definitely would have bought these if they had more but they would only be five dollars per glass and they were real solid glass they weren't plastic or anything like that and I thought this little tray could be a cute little accent on an outdoor coffee table or something like that at 10 bucks thought it kind of had some you know visual interest with that little bit of white there thought that was kind of cool 
And then lastly, I'm gonna give you guys a little furniture tour. I think that Hobby Lobby actually has some very affordable, you know, and good looking furniture. This was $167 for this console table. And I think a lot of these things look very authentically vintage, which I love. They also had these cane style nightstands for only 70 bucks, which is crazy because I bought mine for $80 and I thought that was a steal. And I love the look of them. They're just very simple, very coastal looking. And I just always love to give the furniture section a little peruse because I love the wood tones that they have here. Like I said, they look very authentically antique or vintage. And I think that you can get them at some really great price points. So just gonna kind of look through the last of the furniture and then we're gonna head home and show you guys all of the fun stuff that I bought. All right, so my personal favorite part of the video now is the haul portion because this is where we get to style and see everything come to life in our home and I'm excited to show you guys all the little fun things that I bought. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you guys, I haven't seen these there before. I don't know if I have just missed them or if they are new, but I got these really pretty uh, fake florals and um, it doesn't say what they are. They're made in China, but um, I will try to link them if I can. But they have them in a couple of different colors, and I don't know if you guys can see, but I personally think that they look pretty realistic. I love the look of dried florals, and I think that that looks very high-end, looks very realistic, and um, each one of these was $5.99 per stem. So this is like what a little stem looks like, and um, everything at Hobby Lobby I mean, we're gonna be quoting 50% off price because if you don't get it for 50% off, then I'm sorry, but that's dumb because they have alternating weeks of 50% off. So what I actually do is I go in there and everything they have one week, I get those items. And then the next week, almost the other half of the store is pretty much 50% off. So then I'll get the other things that I saw that weren't on sale the next week. So that's exactly what I did with a couple of these items because they usually alternate between wall decor and table decor. So, um, yeah, just know that, um, everything I'm going to be quoting is 50% off. So $5.99 at 50% off is $3 per stem and that's really great. So um, one thing that I've talked about a lot on my channel is I love all the branches and olive trees. Like those are my go-to favorite kind of greenery stem that exists. But we can't have that all over our house, okay? We have to have some sort of variety. So I like very rustic looking stems and uh, florals that just kind of give your home that rustic feel, very casual. And I think that these do a great job of that. And I like that they're not totally green. So if you have a lot of greenery in a space and you just need something to kind of like switch up you know, that look so that the room isn't overtaken by different like greens. This is a great alternative because it's not quite all the way on like the super flowery and floral end of the spectrum, but it has like kind of a softness about it, but it's still very neutral and rustic, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's that. Really love these guys. Three bucks a stem. Can't beat it. All right, so this next item I'm super excited about because it's one of my favorite things when a item doubles as decor and a functional use at the same time. So it is these really pretty canisters. The price for one of them was $19.99 and then this one is $24.99. So 50% off of that combined is like 34, 35 bucks for both, which it's a little pricey, but these, like when I saw them, I was like, these are so beautiful. They look like something straight out of like one of pure salt interiors designs. And I thought it'd be really great because I use a lot of flour and brown sugar a lot because we sprinkle our sausage with brown sugar in the morning when we make our breakfast. So I figured I put flour in one and brown sugar in the other. 
and that way they're readily accessible on the countertop and I don't have to like go in and out of the pantry and I can just like put a little spoon in there and sprinkle it on. So um, they also are super cute. I love that they're mismatched because I think that that is something like too much matchy matchy for me. Things can kind of fall flat and I love that they're similar but they have a little bit of a variation because it kind of gives your eye a little bit of something extra to look at and I personally think that that looks so designer and nice when they look similar but they're different at the same time you need something in there kind of like giving it visual interest if that makes sense so I love that they're just a tad bit different um but yeah I'm gonna put these on my countertop right against some of my um faux books that I made if you guys haven't seen my kitchen DIY go watch that because I made these really cute books that double as storage and their decoration at the same time so I'm gonna put these right next to that as kind of almost like a bookend but it's gonna be useful because they're gonna be holding my stuff and I love lighter ceramics I think that they give a room just like a really bright fresh look and um, they look very handmade and unique so that's another thing I always look for when choosing decor because I feel like that looks very expensive it gives your home character and it doesn't look like you know you just bought it at home goods or Hobby Lobby <laughs> when in fact you did so that's exactly why I like these pieces all right so as you guys know my favorite kind of greenery to decorate with is an olive stem and I found this super cute tiny miniature olive plant and I've talked about this before on my channel but I think it's really easy to find like bigger stems and like medium-sized plants and stuff but this really tiny mini size is super hard to find and I love it because it can accent anything like you can put it with a larger vase you could put it with a picture frame I'm going to actually put this on my kitchen countertop right next to the two um, little canisters that I just got and I think it's just going to accent that perfectly and put a little punch of greenery in there without being overwhelming or big I love this size because it can kind of like fit into anything without taking up a lot of space but it adds that little bit of fresh um, and I thought that this looked relatively realistic um, for being a fake plant. It was $7.99, so four bucks, and it's actually a little, um, I think it's like a little picture holder or a placeholder, as you guys, I don't know if you can see with that little thing in there, but I'm really going to like yank those out and just have it be like a little plant. So yeah, I thought that this was a super cute little accent. They had a couple of them there and uh, I like that it has that moss in there too. I think that's kind of a very high end look with the moss filler. So yeah, that'll look really cute on my kitchen countertop. Okay, so if you guys watched my living room reveal, you'd see that I made those fake storage books. I also kind of did a more in-depth tutorial in my uh, kitchen DIYs. So I moved them from my living room to my kitchen so because I did that I kind of lost some storage in my living room under my coffee table and I've been searching for something to put like our remotes our games our coasters in when we're not using them that functions as decor but also just helps hide all of that stuff away and I found this really pretty trunk and I like it because it has some leather and brass accents which I feel like look very expensive and high end. I feel like this is something that could totally be found at like Pottery Barn. It kind of just like has that look. It was actually only 20 bucks. So full price 40 bucks, 50% off is $20. But I think that it looks really real. I think that the leather looks really pretty, even though I'm sure it's not real leather, but I think that it just looks really nice. It has these really pretty like vintage looking clasps and they just kind of slide up like this and then opens up has some storage in there and that's how we'll just kind of like store all of our little games our card games stuff that you just want readily accessible for your coffee table but you don't want it out um, I think that this is gonna be a great size can hold all of that but still kind of like accent the coffee table and be a really cute decor piece at the same time okay so this next item I was so excited to find they were actually discontinuing it so it was super reduced and on clearance it is this gorgeous picture frame and I'm really into these uh, very like vintage looking paintings right now. I love kind of like the earthy colors in them and the wood frame is really pretty and I don't know if you guys can see but it kind of looks like it's an old preserved painting like it's been torn here and I just love that look. Like I said I love the earthy colors in here. 
I think that really matches my home very well and kind of like my style. And the best part was that it was $9.99, you guys. So um, on here it was originally $39.99, so 50% off it would have been 20 bucks. But the fact that I got it for $10 is amazing. And I originally had a photograph of mine placed on my backsplash and I'm gonna swap it out for this guy. And I think it looks so pretty and rustic and is just like the perfect accent. I really love incorporating artwork against backsplashes in kitchens because I feel like it really just softens the look of a very otherwise cold and industrial kitchen because kitchens really do just have like very cold sterile surfaces and when you add artwork I think that really just like warms that up and makes it feel a lot more homey and decorated. So I get a lot of questions too from you guys. Do you move your artwork when you cook? And I do if I'm using the back burners. On our stovetop, our front burners are a ways away from the other ones in the back and I typically only use the front ones, but if I am using the back ones, then yes, definitely I would move all of that. A lot of you guys are like, don't you get like oil and grease splashed on your artwork all the time? And I honestly really don't. Um, it's just also just glass. So if it needs to be clean, it's super easy to clean and get off of there. But um, I don't cook a lot of like very greasy or like oily things, I guess. Like I use olive oil a lot, but I typically cover it. So I mean, it, should, it could just be what I cook, you know? If you cook a lot of soups or like do a lot of frying, then yeah, it probably isn't the best. You want to put this somewhere else on your countertop or in another room or wherever away from the stove. But yeah, I really, really like this guy. I also got another one, kind of looks very similar. It is this one, it's a lot heavier, but I just thought that this piece was so pretty and I think that I'm gonna put this in our bedroom. I'm not sure yet. This is like the one piece that I have no idea still like where it's for sure going, but um, but I have a feeling I'm gonna put it on one of our empty walls in our bedroom because I feel like, as you guys can see, it kind of really matches the mood and the tones in our room. And I think that this would be really pretty. It's just a very calming landscape. And I like it because we live in North Carolina and I feel like this could be like in the mountains of North Carolina or something. I love the vintage style. I love like the kind of like stained old wood rustic looking frame. So the fact that I got this on clearance for $15 was amazing. It was originally 60 bucks and this one feels a lot heavier. Yeah, that was a steal. 60 bucks to $15. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. So another thing that I found that I was super excited about was this little tree and I'm always looking like I said for plants that give a rustic vibe but are not olive trees and I think that this does a really good job of that it was only $30 so it was originally 60 but with 50% off it was 30 bucks and that's such a good price for something this size so I've talked about this before on my channel but using small to medium sized plants like this and then elevating them is a really great way to kind of save money but dress up corners and spaces of your home that just need a little pop of greenery or something extra so I'm planning to put this guy on a stool and put it in like kind of a cute little planter or like a wicker basket or something it's a great little space filler just something to dress up your room and for 30 bucks you can't go wrong you know and that really concludes this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed and found some fun inspiration and maybe some things you can go search for at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's always a fun place to check out and see what they got going on. So I wanna thank you guys again so much for all the constant support with my channel. It really means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.